Welcome into this video. We are looking at three different areas of your life. We're actually looking into what is happening in your mind, your heart, and your soul to get a big picture of what this message means for you. So working on, first of all, the mind energy. We've got butterflies coming in here. That's so interesting because I've been seeing butterflies um, all over, to be honest with you. I saw this big black butterfly yesterday. Every time I go anywhere on social media, that is actually really weird. <laughs> okay, I've been seeing butterflies, even when I like scroll around or anything, I just see like paintings of butterflies or images of butterflies. So this is actually quite strange. But anyway, let's read into what this means for you. Okay, very interesting. Here in the unknown, you will find the essence of who you really are and what magic awaits. So this is interesting because with regards to butterflies in general, they usually talk about um, a period of like transformation or transition from one kind of life to another kind of life. And there are different stages here that you can literally be in, meaning that you can be in an old lifestyle where you are the caterpillar, but you're not really fully who you are meant to be. You're not the butterfly, the person that you may meant to unfold into. And then there is the like the catalyst stage or the, the the stage where you're in the cocoon, you know, where you basically um, go through a bit of a tough time. It kind of reminds me of like an awakening experience or and it, this is what happens if you go on a spiritual journey. So a lot of people will come in here and be like, I am going to begin my spiritual journey. And then 10, down the, 10 years down the line, they're like, oh, what was I thinking? You know what I mean? But there is a stage that you come into where you do become the butterfly. And if you and I've been seeing butterflies as well. So it kind of makes me feel like our energy could be in the same place. You know what? Possibly you may have been, you may have passed through something and reached some other kind of like level of your life or <clears throat> You've just come out of maybe a really tough time, which is that catalyst, that, that cocoon stage where you really don't know what's about to happen to you. And you're really seeing possibly who you can become. And if you're here, I feel like if you're seeing this video, you're here, you're energetically aligned to my energy. Who that where I've been seeing butterflies like for a couple of days, to be honest with you. And um, it's so interesting because in my country it's actually winter now, and I literally saw a butterfly. So I was quite like it made me pay attention. So that was interesting. So let's get in here and see what else we've got here. We've got a mountain goddess, which is in your heart energy okay if this is in your mind energy it makes me feel like the way that you're thinking what you believe about yourself about the world about life has drastically changed congratulations okay the only way for your outer reality to change is for you to change and that means you have to change how you think what you're looking at what you believe about yourself and what you believe about the world okay it's got to change. You can't change your reality if you are the same person you were the day before. Because the person you were the day before is literally creating the reality you are living in today. Okay, so the mountain goddess comes up here. It looks very good to me. Um, high vibration, mindfulness. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And the power of the mind. Here we go with a very tall mountain over there. If that's not, if I'm not mistaken, that could be Everest. I, I think so. Um, with regards to this, how will it feel to climb that mountain? Some people don't make it. Okay, so um, that reminds me of this like, cocoon stage of you know like the beginning of the journey. It's so easy, and we like we're gonna change our lives. We're gonna grow spiritually. We're gonna come to a place of understanding, a place of knowledge, a place of wisdom, so that we can alter our realities and the people that we love's realities and show them the way forward. You know, and the journey is not easy up that mountain. Sometimes you may have felt like you wanted to give up. Sometimes you may have felt like you, you're gaining ground. Sometimes you may have felt you will never get to the top. To me, I feel like there's something that has happened here. There, if, you, if you're here in this, this video with me, thank you for being here, first of all. Um, I, feel like, uh, you, I feel like you made it. I feel like you made it. I feel like you've made it and you may not have realized it yet, but you have made it. The, mind, the high vibration is the shift in your energy. And then the mindfulness part of it, that is when you have got to really sit back and say, what am I literally thinking about every single day? What is going on in the mind? 
Am I thinking about things that I don't want to know about? Am I thinking about where I want to go and who I want to become and how I want my life to look like? Or am I thinking about things that have happened 10 years ago that are very low, low vibrational and I don't want to see that in my life? So you cannot be looking at things and expect that not to show up, even if it's memories of your past. It's such a, such a hard thing for people to get over. It's an absolute complete, complete addiction. And that's when it comes to like this mindful. You have to pay attention to what the mind is thinking about. The moment you wake up in the morning and you're going around, your, you're doing your things in the morning and you notice you're thinking about what happened to you as a child and what happened to you with you, when somebody broke your heart, you mindfulness means to stop the thought immediately and actually speak to it and say, stop, mind, hello, can you please not do that? It's not good for you or me. It's a suffering I do not want to see. So then you change it. You mindfully change what you're thinking about and start going, hey, what am I going to wear today? Let's see, what is my day going to look like today? Okay, I want to go to a change it around or start thinking about how you want your home to look and maybe you're going to move your furniture around you're going to buy something new what is that going to be um you're going to work on yourself this today what what are you going to work on what's that one goal change the thought in the mind because the next thing that says here is the power of the mind the mind is literally creating your reality here and if you've got to get control of it i see many people going i don't know how to get control of that it takes hard work because you've got to be on, you got to be aware, mindful all the time. And it can take a year, it can take months, it can take two to three years. I remember it took me about nearly two to three years to truly stop the thought. And just, you know, whatever when I feel it, it feels like this sometimes to me. I will maybe be going about my business and then somewhere in this area of my body here, I don't know why it's in this, it always feels like it comes from here somewhere. Like it could be in my aura that there's this, this that that area is still not exactly the way I wanted to vibrate. So it'll drift in from this area of my aura and it'll come up behind me like this and it'll sneak and it'll be like, and immediately when I feel it, immediately, I immediately blow it away. And I'm like, okay, so, okay, let me focus on A, B, and C. And where am I going to, okay, what's my plan? Okay, let me write a, start changing the thought immediately. And when it creeps back up behind you again, you've got to, Blow it away, blow it away, let it go. Don't fight it, but just release it. Change the mind. And it can take years. I remember I used to actually have like actual conversations in my mind where my thoughts would come in as da, 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 da. And it's not what I want to see or what I want to hear. It doesn't fit the person I want to become. And I used to say, stop, delete, and let that go. And replace that thought with a positive affirmation. Oh, like, uh, I'm finally going on in my coffee cups here. Like, uh, these are my coffee cups. So I've got affirmations. You can get a link for this as well down below or just tap on the coffee cup. It'll take you to the store. This has became one of my favorite sayings ever. <clears throat> and to be honest with you, it truly changed my life. Uh, everything always unfolds in my favor. Whenever I used to get worried, like maybe things were not going to go my way or things were not going my way, I would stop the thought immediately and say, everything always unfolds in my favor. Even if in this moment, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so you got it. I have this around because, and I see it every day. I only drink water out of it though, because I'm trying to lose weight. I have been losing weight, I'm just saying. And um, literally, uh, when I drink it, every time I drink water, I look at it, I read it again and again until it becomes a new belief for me. With the soul energy for you, we've got to receive. Okay, um, be, a, be open to receiving goodness. You've already shifted. Yes, you have. Welcome. We are on the same energy level. Okay. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. The gift, what I'm hearing your spirit guide say, is the understanding that you've shifted. It is the understanding that what you want to receive, it is not as difficult as it used to be. It's almost an understanding that you're not at war anymore. You're in peacetime now. You have already shifted. You're here with me in this reading. We're on the same vibrational level. Hi. Um, it's almost like, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want to receive? What do you want to have? And I feel like you are literally going to be receiving exactly the things that you want to have. 
um, and it's not going to be hard anymore it's going to be so much more easier i love this so much for you okay so let's get into the tarot so much information coming from your own spiritual guides thank you so much spirit guides for everyone that is watching for being here under the deck as i was shuffling spotted the hierophant taurus in your reading how can we get any better than that that is the hierophant it means to level up it means to grow spiritually it means to have deep wisdom and knowledge about the understanding of life there are two keys there showing that you have opened doors let's take it out let's let's leave it here showing that you have opened doors you have become the hierophant in life congratulations now it's time to start playing okay now it's time to get to a place of um <clears throat> deeper understanding where you can start to be creative here where you can start playing i've noticed something else i'm just going to stop quickly i've just picked up on something look how this card is here do you see her hand is open like give something to me and there's nothing in her hand okay but at the bottom it's the very same image <laughs> repeating look at that both the ladies are standing in the same position hand hand there you have received something you're going to get a blessing for shifting and the blessing that you're going to be getting what i can understand from all of that every time i understand about the blessings that you receive when you shift into a new energetic um vibration you've gone over to the other side basically the good side and you've literally received this kind of energy it is tied to um something that is very important to you something that aligns with your energy now so it is your truth the blessing that you receive some people their blessing is tied to um some kind of blockage in their life or some kind of problem that they've always had in their life and it gets resolved um for others it is a blessing of uh finding out who you are or even having a new career that's aligned truly with who you are it's a blessing of uh health it can be a blessing of anything it depends what the situation is for you so let's get some tarot out here wow okay i see something interesting here for you yes definitely there's a lot of swords in your reading so um i'm picking up swords in every area of your energy so your mind your heart and your soul you could be water uh, air sign gemini libra aquarius but what i'm picking up on here as well is, oh, there is a gemini in this in this reading as well with the lovers card what i'm picking up on here there has been some trouble that you have been experiencing and there are thoughts in your mind that worry you so that's interesting that i was talking about the thought in the mind so the four pinnacles it reminds me of this this is mind energy it reminds me of this thought in the mind feeling where it's almost as if you still don't yet have faith that things are going to go especially stability, like stability wise money wise career wise home wise the safety of the home the stability the ability to be able to thrive that's my cat crying okay in the background um that feels like you feel as if you're not yet sure if that's going to be okay and you maybe i have to go open for her i have a quick cute cat somewhere she's also very loud let me go open the door quickly <laughs> I am back. She is happily eating at her food bowl. So let's go. With regards to the four of pentacles, um, this is still this feeling of being insecure. This is the old self. This is you in your old world. Okay, this is not who you are anymore. You're not vibrating at this energy. And I feel like because this is really tied into the mind, that door behind you is already opened and you're already inside that new reality. And I feel like this is just like leftover fragments of what you used to carry with you, kind of like there still. The next card to come out here is also very interesting. I see something going on with the swords, as I've mentioned before. Um, you've got the Five of Swords here. The Five of Swords is dealing with a lot of problems. And I feel like you have been dealing with a lot of problems in your life in different areas as well. Um, situations with people, trying to solve things all the time. That you can get yourself through that door into a new reality and this is actually i, I really feel like both of these cards um is like remnants of what you've been through so it's almost like memories that are lost in your mind but you're operating and surviving from memory so it's like 
That's how we live. That's how the subconscious mind gets programmed. So the subconscious mind will experience uh, lack of stability, fear that things are not going to be okay, dealing with a lot of problems, and then it learns, this is how I work. This is how I need to operate in this world because that's how you, you operate it. Because of problems coming in, because of um, the lack of stability, lack of finances, lack of people being, uh, you know, uh, long-term stable with you in any which way. And now this just feels to me like it's a way of, of functioning and it's a learned way. It's almost like you're carrying trauma um, because of experiences that you've had in your life, things that you've been through. This is now something that you are no longer. So you've really got to become mindful here when these kind of things come up, like everything always goes wrong for me. I don't feel like I'm going to be safe long term. Um, when is the next problem coming? Things feel good. When is something going to go wrong? Because we're so used to experiencing those kind of things. This is when the rewriting of the mind comes in. The last card coming in here is your Three of Cups. I really feel like this is where you, your energy currently is, but the mind hasn't yet caught up yet. So it's almost like you are in a good place. You are in a good vibration. Good people and people who are just like you um, are literally being attracted to you right now. And you may be feeling like, I'm not sure about new people coming into my life. I'm not sure. And that's normal. I'm not sure if these new opportunities or happy times that I may be experiencing won't be faced with problems again. This is what I know. You're alive, so there will always be problems. But the thing is, when you add a, you're vibrating differently and you kind of like pass through this doorway, which is like a real blockage, and you have this, and I can see there has been like a blockage in your energy. Um, when you pass through it, you're going to face problems, but it's not going to be the same. It's going to be easier than before. You're going to face something that would have been very hard for you to face maybe before. And you're going to face a similar thing. It's not going to be any less difficult problem, but you've changed. You've become stronger. You don't feel the same about the things that you face. And you're going to go towards it. You're going to deal with the same problem, maybe something similar you had five years ago. And you're going to breeze right through it. And you're going to look around and go, oh, it's already oh, it's solved. And things are actually going to fall more into place to you as well. It'll be more easier for you. With regards to mountain goddess, oh my goodness, we've got the lover's card coming in here. This is also Gemini. So what is going on here? This is beautiful energy, by the way. Beautiful energy. The lover's card can be also the alignment that you need with regards to people. The heart energy. For the lover's card to come up here in the heart energy, and then we've got a Wheel of Fortune, okay, or the Wheel of the Year, and we've got a Ten of Swords here. This tells me one thing about what's been going on with your emotions and your heart. Uh, a lot of pain, a lot of uh, situations where it was not like the Lover's Card, it was the opposite. You have a lot of, uh, not that you have history, but there is a history. Um, a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of betrayal, a lot of people not really doing that with you not really being fair. And let me tell you, this is part of what you also need to let go of as well. It will pop up here again in your mind, make you feel like that again in your soul, in your energy, in your emotion. And this is one of the things you must know. The lover's card is not only about people, but it's also about alignment in your life and balance in your life. The path that you now walk is one that is in love with you and you're in love with the life that you're seeing unfolding. This is literally the balance that you are finding your emotions in. So know that there is definitely something here that's happening to you in your world that is, it's sort of like out of your control now. <laughs> I just tell you the gift that you will receive will be aligned with what your soul's energy is that's tied to this Wheel of Fortune. It's got, it's got this energy of something is unfolding here and it's going to unfold into what this gift is. Uh, what you're going to be receiving and it is perfect for you because of the lover's card being there whatever this is it aligns with your emotion and how you're going to want to experience this world the things you're going to want to experience and how you feel about it you're moving there it is flowing there and it's almost like it's out of your control because your energy is shifting or has already shifted and it's literally now something where you are just going there 
the road you're on is just taking you there. It's like the current is pulling you. And part of this whole journey for you, it's it's excellent. Especially with regards to emotion. There's a lot of, this is what I felt, a lot of betrayal with regards to the heart and emotion. I'm just hearing Spirit Guide say nobody cared about how you felt. Nobody cared about the pain that you, you were dealt by people and situations around you. And there was almost some like, for some reason, I don't know if this is a specific person or even more than one person, or it feels like for some of you, everybody um, got this like perverse pleasure in you just being knocked down like this. And it's almost like when you were crying and you were upset and you were lonely, you were in tears. It brought somebody like this feeling of not happiness, but this feeling of like, hey, um, I'm kind of... I kind of like to see you like that. This part of your life is over. It is over now. You know, I see this, this owl there busy watching as somebody's laying on the ground there. And this part of your life is now over. It is almost like a death card experience coming in here for me where you are now seeing butterflies. It's so interesting as well, this card there with all the flowers. Look at all the wooden flowers, butterflies. Just love that environment. So with the receive energy in your in your soul, okay, I can see all of this, the five of swords, what has happened to you, everything that I picked up on has really made you a very strong person, but you're also very close in energy with regards to your energetic vibration, your soul energy. Um, so you're very, very close, you, you're very, very distrusting of whatever comes towards you, so you're defending yourself like this. Um, the sun is rising behind her, okay, and honestly, to be honest with you, I feel like a lot of these wands that we are seeing here, it, it needs to come down. Okay, um, it needs to come down so that the sun can reach her, you, male or female energy. It needs to touch you. Now there's your gift coming. Okay, so that wands to me is every betrayal, every pain, every disappointment. And you need to break them down one by one. You need to cut them out of your energy, out of your life, out of how you believe who you are, out of how you believe what life is going to give you, out of um, how you believe everything works. Because you know what I can pick up here is that um, it's almost like everything is going to change for you. Everything is going to change for you. And it's all going to do, finally, the last little piece of this puzzle is anything that's going on in your mind. So it's like you've got to break down every little belief that's not going to work for you. Like believing that abundance, rich people are only getting richer. Believing that the government is against you. Uh, there's so many people trapped in this. It's scary. It's really scary. If you're here with me and you're understanding this and you, you're also getting it as well, thank you so much for actually just taking the time and the effort to even watch this reading, but to also do the work that you're meant to be doing and just to step out of that negative energy. Because so many people are stuck in, the world is against me, um, everything is horrible and bad, there's millions of conspiracy theories, the government is out to get me, blah, 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 blah. And it just goes on and 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 on. Okay, um, even myself, I've also got some beliefs to break down as well but I break them down as soon as a new one comes and I go I don't think I should be looking at this I break it down because it doesn't serve me at the end of the day and it creates this energy it creates a blockage in your life where you feel like you are the victim to circumstances and the moment you see people out there saying um we will everything is horrible in this country Oh my goodness, um, the politicians are corrupt. Yes, they're corrupt. Duh, they're politicians. Hello. You know what I mean? But that cannot be what holds you back. That means they have power over you and you're a victim of your circumstances. How come there is other people out there living in the same circumstances as you or even you yourself who have been in that circumstances and you get out of it and you come out of it on the other side and they get it right? What did they do? They change their core belief systems about everything. Even if you can't feel like you can't change it, stop looking at it. Set yourself free.
it's how the matrix, you know, people will talk about the matrix. The matrix really is not like some simulation like you see on a movie, okay? The matrix is what we as human beings have created with our belief systems. And it forms like this big net now that just overlaps our entire life. And there's rules and regulations and beliefs about ourselves in this matrix. And it's formed by our conscious beliefs. Um, which is fed to us by people in power. And when you actually break free from the matrix, is when you stop looking at the people in power, what they've got to say, or what our own core beliefs are, because our parents taught us this, and school taught us this, and society says this, and everything. You break free from that. You start to see those that web that's holding you in just unravel because it truly doesn't have any power unless you let it have power. And there is this energy of you, knight of swords, just with, even with that sword, just cutting that, that web away, moving rapidly forward in your life with a lot of power, a lot of focus, a lot of conviction in any direction you want to go in. There is no no here to the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords doesn't get a no. The Knight of Swords goes in that direction, does what they need to do, gets to the other side, accomplishes the, the mission or the, the, hero's, the hero's mission, and they do it. The quest, you know what I mean? This is how it needs to be from now on. What is your new quest? Com comment below. What is your new quest? What is the next goal that you're reaching? What is the next magic that you're going to bring into your life? Make it good. Make it fun. Make it a happy one. Make you anything you want to be. And focus on that and go for it because it's going to be easy now. You've, you're no longer here. Look at that. Look what you broke free from. Do you know how many people can do this? Maybe less than 1% of this world. And you've done it. We can make that 1%, 2%. We can make it 3%. And in that, in doing so, we can change this reality, the matrix, because of the belief systems of people. We can rearrange it. And instead of it being a web like of lies and deceit, a web of something that makes you feel so trapped in your own life, we can turn it into something that looks like that. And then the ones who really have the power will be me and you, okay? Together, creating this reality of butterflies and flowers. There we go. Thank you so much for being here, guys. If, excuse me, if you have got to the end of the reading, you know I always let you guys know um, that this is truly your story. Because if you get to that last tarot card, then the whole story is yours, not just halfway. And I've noticed many because I can see when people like click off the video, I can literally see in my YouTube studio, um, people will like watch maybe like 10 minutes in. Yeah, you're going to have this part that happens, but you're never getting there. You got here. Congratulations. You truly are aligned with, our, with my spirit guides and my own energy. Thank you for being here. It's wonderful to, to share my energy with you and to feel your energy coming back from you as well. Congratulations, I'm just saying. It's going to be easy now. Enjoy it. Have some fun, okay? I'm sending my light and love to you, and I will see you next time. Bye.